वेलकम बैक टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन टू डेज वीडियो एज आई थॉट इट्स समर टाइम सो वी ऑल लव आइसक्रीम्स सो आई थॉट ऑफ शेयरिंग दिस थ्री होम मेड आइसक्रीम्स विच इज़ वेरी सिंपल टू मेक एट होम सो इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू नो हाउ यू कैन मेक योर ओन होम मेड आइसक्रीम एट होम विथ योर ओन कस्टमाइजेबल फ्लेवर्स दैन प्लीज़ कंटिन्यू वॉचिंग बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज़ गो एंड हिट द बेल आइकन एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल You need to start off by taking three empty bowls. It can be of any shape and size, but it should be dry and clean. Now you need some whipping cream. I have taken one and a half cups of whipping cream. So whipping cream is a cream which has thirty percent of fat content in it, and you need to take a heavy cream for your ice cream. So you just need to take it out from your deep freezer because basically it's stored in your deep freezer, and take it out in a milk consistency, and then whisk it till soft peaks. You don't want stiff peaks you want stuff uh, soft peaks then you need to approximately add around 1/4 cup of a condensed milk to your whipping cream now again over here it all depends on your taste if you like your ice creams to be sweet then you can add 1/4 cup and if you like it to be slightly less sweet or something like that you can actually just make it as per your taste then then you will be adding around 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence i've already added it to my batter i forgot to shoot it actually so please excuse me for that but you need to add around 1 teaspoon of vanilla essence to your batter and mix it well gently you see that your vanilla essence and condensed milk is completely combined with your whipping cream and you have folded it quite well then that's the time when you have to divide your batter into three bowls so here's a trick guys you have to see that jo aapka batter hai wo bahut zyada आपका फ्लैट नहीं होना चाहिए सो इट शुड बी समथिंग नियरिंग अ वेरी हाई लेवल सो वाइल यू आर फोल्डिंग इट इन द फोम और द पीक शुड नॉट सेटल डाउन इट शुड बी इन अ हाई पीक इट शुड बी फोमी इन स्टिल इन कंसिस्टेंसी सो इट्स लाइट और एल्स योर आइसक्रीम मे गेट वेरी हैवी वेन यू हैव इट सो सी दैट यू डो नॉट रिलीज आउट द एयर वाइल यू आर मिक्सिंग इट सो प्लीज मिक्स इट वेरी जेंटली Okay, so this might be looking a little dirty and shabby. That's okay. It's whipping cream. It might look like this. It's completely fine because I really didn't use any three separate bowls. I just used the first container as such, the first bowl. In uh, I mean, and I just used two other bowls. You just need to divide your batter into three different equal halves, and that's the reason we have taken one and a half cup so that you have half cup recipe for for each of your ice cream flavor. सो एज चेरीज आर इन द सीजन आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग अ चेरी आइसक्रीम सो यहाँ पे जो चेरीज आती हैं आप उसको भी प्योरे कर सकते हो डी सीट करके जिस नीड टू प्योरे इट एंड इवन फॉर द टिन चेरीज यू नीड टू डू एक्जैक्टली द सेम थिंग यू जस्ट नीड टू टेक ऑफ द सीड एंड देन जस्ट प्योरे इट एंड मेक अ क्योरलेस एंड दैट्स द टाइम वेन यू जस्ट नीड टू प्योरे इट रोली वेल एंड गेट दिस ऑफ अ कंसिस्टेंसी एंड यू एड इन टू योर बैटर then go ahead and take a little bit of chopped chocolate this is chopped dark chocolate you can take uh, preferably any dark chocolate whatever you have so yahan pe aap dekh sakte ho i've already added my cherry puree to my whipping cream and here in you just need to mix it really really well and which is again very gently guys because you we are working with whipping cream and that gets flattened very very easily it releases out air very easily because it has stabilizers with it within it so um you just need to mix it really well add in your chocolate and you need to set it in a container which i'll be showing you in my next video so here you need to pour your thing into a tin you can put it in a tin or a air tight container you need to take another bowl which has whipping cream and we're going to start off with the next flavor which is pista Then go ahead and add some pista crumbs to your whipping cream and also liquid food coloring. Liquid food coloring is completely optional but always it looks nice. Go ahead put it in your container, level it well and put it inside your deep freezer. Take our last whipping cream bowl and start off by making some mango ice cream. So yeah. Making your mango ice cream you would be needing some mango purees. So I have taken Alfonso mangoes, I have chopped them roughly and pureed it in a mixer grinder. You can just pure it. See that the consistency of your mango is not very thin. It should be a puree which has to be in a thick consistency because you're making an ice cream out of it. So yeah. Go ahead and add your mango puree to your whipping cream and this is how it looks like. I have put it in my lock and lock container again and i'll put it in my deep freezer if you think you want a proper mango color and you wanted the mango color to be more brighter you can add on some orange food coloring but i like this minimalistic color so i didn't add anything 
was it for today's video you guys i hope you guys liked the video and it was really informative for you guys if it was do not forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys next time in my next video if you have any questions related to the ice cream you may ask me on my instagram blog dm me personally or even ask me in the comment section below do not forget to follow my instagram blog link is in the description box below